So hi everyone, welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. I am Yogesh. So here I am going to teach you about how we are going to test the L298 motor driver. You know that this L298 motor driver is most common motor driver which are used in like lot of robotic projects like building the autonomous robot, building the obstacle avoiding robot, building the light chaser robot. So wherever you need to control the motor, you need to use the motor driver. But before using the motor driver directly with the Arduino, you should know how this motor driver works. So there is a simple way to learn about how this motor driver works. That is, you need to test the motor driver without even using the Arduino. So without wasting time, let's start testing the motor driver and learn how this motor driver actually works. So, so there are n number of videos available on the YouTube for building the autonomous vehicle or you can say the obstacle avoiding robot, light chaser robot, line following robot. So all of these robots uses the common component in order to run the motors and the name of that common component is basically the motor driver. So first we will see what are the different pins on the motor driver and then we will see how we are able to test the motor driver without even using the Arduino. So we can test the motor driver without the Arduino. So let's see what are the different pins on the L298 motor driver. So first we will divide these pins in four groups. So the first pin is power pin. So at the back side you will see here you can see plus 5 volt ground and plus 12 volt. So these are basically the power pins on the L298 motor driver. Now in order to run the motors we need to supply 12 volt power supply to the motor driver and this plus 5 volt is basically to test the motor driver. Now these are the power pins which are available on the motor driver. Now let's talk about the second pin. So second pin is basically the motor pins. It has the motor pin as well. So you can see this is the motor A or you can see output 1 or output 2. So motor A and motor B. Now here comes the most important pins that is input pins. In order to control the motor direction we need to use these pins. So there are 4 input pins available on the L298 motor driver. Now the fourth type of pins which are available on the motor driver is enable pin. Now this enable pins main purpose is if we wanted to control the speed of the motor then we need to use this enable pin with the PWM pin of the Arduino. Now if you don't want it to use this enable pin then you need to use this short link if you can see there is a short link present over here. This is the enable A and this is enable B. Now there is no short link present over here. While in, uh, if you insert the short link here then your motor will run at full speed that means it will run at the full speed if you wanted to control the speed then you need to connect this pin to the PWM pin of the Arduino. Now I just short this link as of now using this thinner to thinner connector ok so I just shorten it now you can see ok so here you can see this is the plus 12 volt supply so we need we will connect here our plus 12 volt and this is the ground now we will connect the battery so I have connected male to male wire here also I am connecting the male to male and here you can see this is the plus 5 volt I am connecting this as well now so now you can see this is my plus 12 volt the white wire so I will connect this positive the alligator clip I am having here and then the, the middle pin is basically the ground pin and then I'll connect the ground pin here like this okay now I left this pin alone now I'll explain you this as well let's see how we are going to test it now so this is one of the most common type of robot which you can find on the YouTube or, or the Amazon as well so let's control these two motors using the motor driver okay so let's connect the motor pins to motor A and motor B. So this is the motor A and this is the motor B. Connected the motor B. Let's connect the motor A. 
So if you see on the screen, I have connected both the motors, motor A and motor B. Now you can see on the screen, the motor driver is powered up. The most important part of this video that you have to take this 5 volt wire which you have left alone and then you just have to touch this 5 volt to the input 1. If you see, if you see motor A start rotating, you can see that. You just have to touch it. And now if you wanted to reverse the direction, just touch this 5 volt to the another pin. You can see we are reversing the direction. Now if you wanted to rotate the motor B, let's connect this 5 volt to input 3. Now you can see motor B start rotating. Now if you wanted to change the direction, just connect to input 4. So this is how you can successfully test your driver. So while testing your driver, make sure that you have a good power supply. That means your power supply should be able to supply the good amount of current. So I personally suggest you, you should use the 12 volt power supply so that you will you can able to test both the motors on the same time. So I hope this motor driver testing is clear to you. So if you have any issue while testing the motor driver. So let me know inside the comment section. So do like the video and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.